Hi Jackson! I'm going to read a story called Thomas the Tank Engine and the Tiger, written by Christopher Audrey and Ken Stott. One day Thomas heard some children talking about a new wildlife park that was opening soon. It's going to have lions and tigers and even a hippo, one boy said. What's a hippo? Thomas asked. You'll see, said the driver. We'll be carrying some of the animals to the park ourselves. Soon the animals began to arrive. Some came by truck and some came by rail. The engines worked very hard, pulling extra trains to carry them. One morning, Thomas's driver was extremely excited. We're going to the harbor today to collect something special for the wildlife park, he told Thomas. At the harbor, they found a big crate containing a tiger and her cubs. The tiger had come from a zoo far away. A crane lifted the crate onto the train, and Thomas set off. At the station, Thomas wa waited while the big crate was unloaded. He was sad to see the tigers go. He had been proud to carry such noble and beautiful animals. I wonder if I shall see him again, he thought. Near the station there was an old engine shed. The workers used it for storing things they did not use very often. Later, when Thomas was passing the shed, he thought he saw something moving inside of it. It seemed to look stripey. See? Later that day, Percy also moved the old past the old track engine shed. He thought he saw some eyes glinting in the dark. I can't understand it, he told Thomas. It was as if something or someone was watching me. The next day Thomas was at the station. He was listening to his driver talking to the fireman. It says in the newspaper that some tigers have escaped from the wildlife park, said the driver. I wonder where they are. Thomas smiled. He knew. Look in the old engine shed as we pass, he told his driver. When they came close, Thomas slowed down. His driver looked out of the cab. Why, it's the tiger and her cubs, he said. That was very smart of you to find them, Thomas. Thomas's driver immediately told Sir Tom, tough and hot about the tigers. We'd better let their keeper know they're safe, said Sir Topham Hot. A truck came from the wildlife park to collect the tiger and her cubs. The keeper was very pleased. Well done, Thomas, for finding our tigers, he said. Sir Topham Hot agreed. You've been a really useful engine, he said. Thomas often sees the tiger and her cubs when he passes the park now. He feels very proud to have rescued them. As a special thank you, the keeper named one of the tiger cubs Thomas. The end. Bye!